What's up guys, Baker here. Um, I know it's been quite a while, but I um, finally got a chance to record a tutorial, so here we go. This is the automatic twixter syncing, and uh, it's basically going to be this example. So it might have been kind of laggy, but each little jump was synced to the beat and completely automatic, and it's pretty sweet. And I've sort of done a tutorial on this before, but it hasn't been its own separate tutorial. It was kind of hidden in something. So anyways, we'll make a new comp real quick. Uh, 720, all that good stuff. Bring in our song. And first thing I want to do, first extend my comp length. So maybe uh, three minutes. Just so we can see the whole song. Push LL. And uh, we got our song here. Now I want it to sync to the bass. So um, if you've seen my uh, audio sync flashes, we'll start with that technique. So increase the bass, decrease the treble, maybe the bass, not so much. But um, we're going to right click our song and uh, keyframe assistant convert audio to keyframes. This is what's going to drive our Twixter. So uh, we'll just wait, okay, and we can delete the left channel and delete the right channel, and uh, that's okay for right now. What I'm going to do is take our clip, if I can find it real quick, this guy, take our clip and pre-compose it, and we get our clip, and uh, there's a couple reasons why pre-composing is good, and I'll show you in a second, but anyway, we have our clip, we're going to go to our comp and bring out that pre-composed clip. First thing I want to do is go to the actual drop, so push LL, and we're going to look, um, I think this is the actual drop, let's see, quick, quick listen, no, it's way past that, maybe over here. Okay, also take away that bass treble. First thing I want to do is go ahead and take our clip and um, drag it over here. We're going to line up the first gunshot to the actual drop. So we'll go here and I'll just scoot it over until the muzzle flash shows up right about there. And so that is um, synced. And we want the beginning to be, you know, going to the beat. And um, I wouldn't suggest using this effect on actual gameplay. I only used it because he was just running across the map up a ladder and stuff. Maybe do this for some cinematics or uh, a guy running, but um, gameplay, not so much unless you're kind of lucky on what the gameplay is. So anyways, I'm going to go to the clip and split it where I want it to go from jumpy back to normal. So I'm going to go right when it gets around this window, uh, I'm going to split and it's going to play normal after that before everything's just going to be driven from the audio amplitude. So, we'll go ahead and uh, get some Twixter in here. Twixter! Everybody loves Twixter. Change the frame rates, yada yada yada. Now, we have to link up the speed to this audio amplitude. So, if we push U, we can see this slider. And uh, we got these big bumps. That is from the song. Um, I don't know if you've heard it, but it goes dun 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 dun. Yeah, I showed you. Okay. So, these are all the little kick drum things. So, if I take a look at these values, it's uh, ranging from, you know, a good value would be 30 to 70, maybe 40 to 70. So, what we're going to do is take our clip and go to speed, alt click on the speed, and do um, a linear, and instead of value, we're going to pick whip to the channel slider, comma, and then we picked um, 40 and 70 for our input values. Now, if you don't know this expression, I have um, another tutorial, Audio Sync Flashing. I kind of go a little bit more in-depth, but um, uh, yeah. Anyways, so the low end is 40, and I want that to be 1% for our output. And then the jumping speed, I'm going to start it with 100. So 40, 70, 100, and click away. So what happens is it plays 1% when it's on the low ends, and then every kick drum it will be a little skip. And what's cool about this is um, I can move my clip anywhere I want and just extend it out. 
all I need to do is go to the frame, zoom in here, go to the frame right before it goes normal, and take a look where we're at. Push U and just change the output uh, high end because that's telling you how fast we're skipping between beats. So if I change this to 200%, each little kick will make it go further. So maybe uh, 400%. And he's right around that window. So if I can try to do a quick RAM preview here, um, you will see that it skips to the beat perfectly. Now, <clears throat> um, you can do this by hand, but what's not good about this by hand is if you make all the keyframes um, on one single layer, it can get messed up. So what I was saying about one layer is uh, it can get messed up if you later on decide to move it, and then uh, if you want it to like shrink, then all you got to move all the keyframes, and it's really gross and stuff. So what's cool about this is maybe I didn't want it to be you know 10 seconds long. Well, I can just scoot this up, and then uh, trim this in. All I got to do is change the output to match up with the thingy. So we'll just speed this up. So 500. Gotta be higher. 700. Pretty close. And a quick RAM preview. You will see that everything's still synced up because it's always driven by the audio amplitude, which is not changing. All we're changing is the output speed to make it uh, line up with the regular foot. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, I I actually did the same kind of trick for, um, let's see here, Stam at Scrapyard. Uh, I did this for the cinematic in the beginning, where it's like pushing back. Watch. Going through the map. Now you could use time remapping, but again, You'd have to make sure all the spaces are like evenly spaced out if you want to change it and everything. But I did the same technique. I actually made my own little object with a slider and just did a few keyframes and went from 0 to 100 down to 0. And then I can just change it easily with the expression and it fit perfectly and it was pretty cool. So go ahead and take this technique to your edits. A little bit of uh, expressions and stuff. Not too advanced, I hope. But um, uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Leave comments. Uh, I have Facebook and Twitter. Be sure to follow me on those. I post um, daily life updates and uh, preview, unlisted previews, things like that. And um, yeah, go ahead and like the video. Maybe a fave and stuff. And um, yeah, peace.